Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the main quest line. So we found the Elder Scroll and completed the Elder Knowledge quest, so let's hop over to see our old path and get more information on that elusive dragon shout. Now on my first run through on this, everything went fine, uh, but on my, uh, on my recording runs I got a common glitch where Alduin doesn't appear, so I'll tell you exactly how to deal with that if it happens to you. So let's crack on. So head up to the Throat of the World and see if old Parthenax wants to come out and play. There's the old chap. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech. Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. I don't think he's too happy. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the Earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny, take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay, Alduin will be coming, he cannot miss the signs. Okay, uh, run down here. Uh, now I should have mentioned actually, uh, you want to come prepared, um, if you have a follower, uh, bring them, make sure, uh, if you can, it's entirely how you want to do this, but I suggest um, if your conjuration skills aren't great, bring staffs and give your follower staff as well. Anyway, you read the, uh, the Elder Scroll. Now, the common glitch I uh, mentioned at the beginning is you go through all this dialogue and then Alduin won't appear. Today, Alduin's lordship will be restored. So we go through all this bit first. But I honor your courage, Kreef Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. What's going on? That wasn't particularly difficult for her, was it? Have you no thought beyond the flooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? You've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Both sword and fear. They did not have dragon legs. Once we bring him down, I promise. I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. You are right. We do not need to deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. Okay, now Alduin should appear right now. Um, but as you can see, he didn't. Uh, now I'm cutting this short. I mean, you can hear lots of background noises and dragons flying around and blah, blah, blah. Um, but he never appears. So I'm going to cut this short and show you exactly what you do. Well, no, actually, there's two things you can do. You can uh, go back to a previous save and start again, which is a bit of a pain. Now, that's the first thing I did, and that still didn't work. So the next thing to do um, is when you're in a situation that hasn't rocked up, uh, press the till key. Uh, that's this button here if you're not really sure uh, then you uh, type enable player controls and that's all one word and then hit the tilde key again and then what you do you move around 
um, and that kind of like draws them onto you. Now, what I suggest you do as well is do a lot of looting. Head the dragons, the first dragon they killed, and the one in the distance, um, and then um, rob the bodies or loot the bodies. Sorry, um, uh, before he comes. There's some decent loot here. Um, I didn't do that much losing, obviously, for the purpose of this video, I wanted to see the interaction with uh, Aldwin. But uh, anyway, by moving around, for some reason, that seems to draw Aldwin to you. I should have done the dragons first, because they actually have some very decent loot. Uh, here he is. Garnet, 314, nom nom. He's coming. There's a dragon just in the distance there, which I uh, I didn't get. There, there's a little chap. That's the first part of the dragon run uh, run learned. That's the second part. And the third part. I think she enjoyed that very much. She's a gobby anyway, who cares? So if you notice, Dragon Ren itself isn't actually doing the business. So he's calling on the Elder Scrolls to uh, banish him. So if you remember from our uh, chat with Parthenex before, it was a, a time rend. And it banished him through time. That's why he's come back to Skyrim now. You are banished. Work. Did it. Yes. The world eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our soul. So that's it, we've done the Dragon Ren shout, so I suggest you um, get it hooked up straight away. Now this is why I love Janice, she's really good with her staffs. Okay. Okay, so I've got uh, Janissa, Parthenax, uh, myself, and three Atronax. I've got the Shadow Mirror over the corner, but um, I've got a mod where he runs away. So this is actually quite a, a good dragon fight, but um, Aldwin doesn't really stand much of a chance, to be fair. I keep hitting him with Dragon Rind. Oh, get out of the way, path next. Oh, I missed him. Damn. Yeah, stronger arrows, I think. Here he comes. Hey. Got him that time. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna get stiff now. That's it. He's dead. That's it. Very quick. But he's only quick because I come more prepared for it, so um, I suggest you guys do the same. Well, you don't want to. You might do it one handed and do it the hard way. It's entirely up to you. But it is doable. Yeah, you see, um, even before when we were back in time, they couldn't kill him with Dragon Rend. Uh, they had to banish him through time. So uh, we're going to have to find another way of dealing with it. So we go and talk to uh, uh, Parthenex. Now, sometimes he flies around, but this is where he'll talk to you on here. of Dover. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. So be patient with him till he comes back. Um, it wasn't really a victory. True. This is not the final Krongra victory, but not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. I need to find out where Alduin went. One of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach, it was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies. Hmm? Hmm. The Yard of White Run might not yes, think so. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. This was ages ago, you understand. So I'm just going through this for a, look, um, a little bit of lore. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. It's quite sad um, keeping him in captivity. So obviously he went mad. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Park. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Okay, now you want to do this one, okay? You're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? And there's a reason for this, you'll see in a minute. Centuries and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag. The words of power, I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words, Knowing how? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. So he's going to give you a choice of three uh, words. This enhances particular shouts. Um, Fus, Faim, or Yol. I'm not sure exactly how, um, if that's the right pronunciation. Um, but what you can do, you can choose one, and each one enhances uh, a particular shout. 
um, and you can choose one, and then you can come back to the world and, and change it at a later date. So um, you can experiment with these if you want to. So, uh, Fuss gives you 25% stability against staggering and a 25% increase in staggering your target. Fame increases health regeneration, while so ethereal by 25%, good for us, uh, an assassin. And Yol increases damage created by fire breath by 25%. Again, that's a good uh, shout. Now, I chose uh, Fuss for now, but I will ex be experimenting with these. Calls to you, Dovahkiin. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be a... That is Fuss. Let its meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Okay, force without effort is added. Um, so we get stagger 25% less and we stagger 25% more. Uh, and apparently that actually does come in conjunction with some of your perks. Um, not sure exactly which ones. Um, but hey. There you go, force without effort. So, not a bad little uh, few minutes work here. We've got uh, the Dragon Rend shout. Uh, we've increased um, another one of our shouts. And we picked up some unexpected uh, loot. So, uh, time to nip off home for my tea. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later!